something about this song like both ways and even at your feet, you know, that are a different mood uh, yeah. with respect of course of Inside Out. So how was it for you, you know, to work on this song that Well, they are songs. they're different songs. Um, you know, again, we wanted to kind of imagine in loads of different things. There was other songs that were a bit more like Both Ways that were in contention for the album and then other songs like uh, At Your Feet that were in contention. Um, and then we just had to go like, well, what's the best version of that song? What's the best one of those songs? So we ended up with this this album. But the thing that I'm proud of is that but as different as Both Ways and At Your Feet are, they're both played by the exact same amount of instruments. Electric guitar, piano, bass, drums. And that's how different you can be on one album. We didn't like go synthesizers and different producer and la 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 and all this. It's like, no, we, we as a band can do that and we can also do that. So I thought it was, I thought it was good because I also didn't want to necessarily <clears throat> come back being, because everybody, the whole world knows what we've gone through. So I didn't want to come back and be like, oh, well, here's the song. Here's the sad song to go along the backdrop of what's going on. I wanted the two to just be, the guys are just in making music and trying to, trying to find our way. And like I said, Both Ways being the first single off the album, I think it was a, it was a good reaction song because people, because it is different now. You know, if we came back with a song that sounded exactly like the script, you'd be like, well, how does it sound like the script? Because Mark's not there. So why is, why are they trying to do the script? So I think it was important to do both ways. And then, which then set the tone was like, okay, we can do that, we can have fun. But then also we have the emotional stuff like at your feet, which is, it's funny, I didn't even know, but like, I thought I thought it was different, but everyone's just like, it's signature script. It's like back to the best that you guys are doing and whatever. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for both songs, but by having two different songs like that, now we've got like both yeah. ways, Unsaid, which is kind of more like both ways. Run, run, run is is like both ways unsaid on that one. So yeah. each song has a little group of family that they hang around with, almost on the album. That And that was important for us to do. Not just to have one song, but have like two or three in that area. Like, and then At Your Feet has like Homes Where The Hurt Is, um, you know, what else? Satellites, maybe they're all, you, Promises maybe could be very scripty too, you know? Um, so yeah, it was it was uh, yeah a lot of fun to write, you know. Yeah, I kind of feel the DNA, of course, of the script because the script is and the script, you know, are irreplaceable. So I kind of feel this album is a little bit different, but in in a script way, you know. Yeah. I kind of feel you, you <laughs> your sound. I want to ask you something about satellite if you want to tell me something, just because it's the title track. So maybe why you know did you choose you know to name the album like this? And based on the type on the on the song, uh, you, you know, there was a few different names because we've been playing around with "Homes Where the Heart Is" could have been a really good album title, um, but I feel mm. under the circumstances it might have advertised it being a, a really sad album, where it's not. It's a very optimistic album, and it's an album yeah. that's um, because of all the different emotions that are on there. A satellite to me is like something that is way above the world. So and it, it can look down and it can see every type of you know person, emotion. It sees all the wars going on. It sees where there's peace. It sees everything. So I, what I wanted the album to be was, you know, it was something that sat back from all of the, what's going on to say, okay, personally, these are th these are the themes that we're dealing with. Professionally, there's also these other things. But when you zoom out, it all starts to become one picture. And that to me was like quite important that satellites, you know, they, they're also a form of communication, you know, community like goes up to it, it broadcasts and right. communicates to the world. So it just felt all this symmetry. Um, I love stars, I love space. Um, at the end of the day, we're all just bits of dust floating through space anyway. Um, so we just felt it was quite, um, yeah, we thought it was quite a cool album title. So just went with it. <laughs> Listening to the album, of course, there, of course, there are, you know, set songs, but in total, you know, listening from the first to the last track, I kind of feel like you're saying to us that there is a light, you know, at the end of the tunnel. You have to be aware, but you have to be aware of the bad things, you know, there are in the world. So I kind of feel like really enforced listening to the album. I hope this is <laughs> good news for you. Yeah, but I know. That's, you it's want... great news. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's... Great news because that's that's how I'm feeling. That's how I was feeling when I was writing it. Is 
yeah, we're going through hard times. But if you look at any of the script albums, we've always been going through issues, but trying to make the best of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, every day, every hour, turn the pain into power. Um, you know, all of these different lyrics that we've written through the years. That song is actually, Superhero is 10 years old today. It's bloody unbelievable. Um, but having all of those kind of songs and messages, you know, we'd be mad not to continue on that mentality because no matter what goes on, you always have to aim up. You know, you always have to look look up yeah. and try and aim. You might be sitting lying in the gutter, but you're looking at the stars, that kind of vibe. So that's what I wanted people to give that same. And I, look again, in a few years time, I might look back on now and just say like, oh, well, like the album was crazy because I was just going through grief and I didn't really know what I what is, but but that's that's life, isn't it? Isn't that life? So you've got to yeah, yeah. you've got to go you've got to go back to work. You don't get to take a year off work because somebody passes away. You've got to fucking you know do them, bury them, mourn them, and you're back to work Monday morning. And that's everybody in in the world. It doesn't make it right and it doesn't make it easy, but you have to get back to to work. And I feel like sometimes trying to distract yourself from the grief helps with the grief. Because if you're around it all day, staring at it, 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 it'll never go away, you know? And Nor do you want it to go away, but like you, you have a chance to grow around it when you can, ch you know, change the vibe or change your mind every now and again, you know? I know it's early, but you will come back in Italy, so I want to ask you something about this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Honestly, Italy, we, we, we adore Italy. It, it, Italy has two of my favorite, um, two of my favorite cities in the world. Um, And in uh, Florence, I love Florence. I also even have this book here. So. Let me see. Wow. <laughs> the family are unbelievable, man. Un unbelievable. Yeah. I'm just, I'm in the middle <laughs> of this thing. So. Woo. Damn. Like, it's so, so bad and so good all in the one, you know? It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Italian But, style. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, but the art and the music and the Renaissance and everything that went through it, like they they funded it. They did a lot of other shady shit too, but <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah, absolutely adore Italy. You know, Rome's one of my favorite places to go. But Florence, I love Florence. Also Venice. I mean, come on, come on. But um, yeah, I'm dying to get back because the Italians are like us. You know, very passionate people. We love to sing. We love to get emotional. We love to cry. You know, we don't give a shit who's looking. <laughs> It's great. <laughs>